Welcome back to another episode of Inspired by Jimmy L. I am, of course, your host, Jimmy Wormize. Hey, I got that right. So if you guys followed me from last week, I totally got that wrong. I don't know why I messed up my name. I don't know what was going on. But anyway, so on this episode, you guys may actually like this, and it's really kind of fun. Um, you guys know I'm weird. I don't mind. I don't mind being truthful. I'm not going to fake the funk. I'm not going to hide from you or my true feelings whatsoever. And so I was having a conversation with somebody. I will not say their name. Um, I just, I don't want to embarrass them and I really don't want to hurt their feelings. But I had the conversation with them and, and we were sitting there normal. And they felt the need to describe their house, their cars. Um, and they spoke a little bit about their marriage. And I just, I kind of sat there and just like, okay, you know, we're around the same age, if I'm not mistaken, and they may be a little younger than me, I'm not sure, but we're around about the same age, and um, they just felt the need to just talk and, and, and boast about what they have. And my mother taught us to not do that, because it did matter. I remember buying cars, and especially with my dad. He used to buy a new car every couple of years and we would literally drive around to the family's houses every, like that day, if it's over the weekend typically, so two days. We would just drive around to everybody's house so they could see the new car. Okay, you know, and, and it was just like, okay, you know, they, they hooped and hollered and all this other crap. I've never been that way. And again, most because my mother taught us to not do that. And so if we get a new car, you'll see it when you see it. Uh, my husband and I have been in this house now, which is new to us, and we've been here for two years, and 90% of my family has not even seen it. <laughs> I mean, we just, we don't do that. We don't do that. And so I'm sitting in this conversation with her, and, and um, well, them, because they were, she was there with her spouse, but I'm sitting in this conversation with them, and I was just like, okay, that's really great. That's good. Way to go. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to end the conversation. Because I was done. I had no, no need to bring up what, I, what my husband and I have. And someone else that was there, that has been to my house, decided to bring up the backyard and how big the house was and, and the cars that we drive and, and how I was like, oh my gosh. I was slightly embarrassed. <laughs> I don't find it necessary to brag. For what? If I could put out of my house today, you are not going to pay my bills. Why do I feel the need to impress you? I don't. If I lose a car today, you are not going to let me borrow one of yours. It's just not going to matter. I don't understand the need. I don't understand the purpose of wanting to um, keep up with the Joneses or to impress people by telling them what you've accomplished. It really doesn't matter. You should be accomplishing things because you love them. You like them. You desire to obtain them. Not for someone else's approval. Honey, bye. Baby, bye. Anyway, moving on. I had a great, I did an interview with Sean Croxton. You should definitely check that YouTube video out or interview out. Type in Inspired by Jimmy L and Sean Croxton. Sean is S-E-A-N, Croxton is C-R-O-X-T-O-N. An amazing guy. This man literally sold his multi-million dollar business profitable business something that he built from the ground he loved it and once upon a time he sold it to move in a completely different direction and I'm 100% certain that that was not the best or the most popular decision from the outside world and yet he found the courage he found the inspiration to do it anyway um, he is also a podcaster and he's interviewed several different people but um, he's a podcaster and he's a, he's a big time podcaster and I love him for it. But he literally sold his, um, his health business and moved, moved into podcasting. 
And so, which was, again, a very unpopular decision, I'm pretty sure. But you would be surprised at his level of freedom and his, his level of, um, of peace around that decision. You know? So, but anyway, I would definitely inspire you to, to check that out. It's Barbara Jimmy L. Sean Croxton. Check it out. Let me know your thoughts. So, anyway, that's me on this particular episode. I don't like to brag, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> that's the show in a nutshell. <laughs> I will see you guys on the very next one. At the end of the day, that you're not doing anything to try to keep up with the Joneses. And most of them are broke, and most of them have no clue as to what they're doing. I keep trying to tell y'all that, and I think I'm going to keep on saying it. So, anyway, until the next show, and I guess the next question. <laughs> see ya.